She's dead. She asked Jamie whether the poison he was offering would give her an agonizing death or a peaceful one, and when he said it would be peaceful, she grabbed the glass and chugged it down as fast as she could, because she knew she would get no better option. Jamie was trying to give her a dignified death, because although Highgarden was at war with the Iron Throne, it was only reasonable, considering Cersei killed most of Olena's family, along with dozens of other lords and ladies. Before that, they had been allies, even if they were somewhat contentious allies. Welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Once she'd taken the poison, she was sure that Jamie wouldn't do anything worse to her, she was already as good as dead, and it's not likely he was toting around an antidote to give her, so she revealed her secret, that she was the one that engineered Joffrey's death. It was her last, small gesture of vengeance, knowing that Cersei would be furious to learn that Olena had killed her son and was allowed to die so gracefully, unlike the way Cersei got to torture Elaria and her daughter, which got her so aroused. When Cersei finds out that she lost the opportunity to torture Joffrey's murderer, she's likely to freak the hell out, which will go to show how she's becoming more and more like the Mad King Ares. She is dead. She would never admit her involvement in Joffrey's murder, if she weren't absolutely sure she would die immediately afterwards. Also the poison was not her idea, she thought Jaime would take her to King's Landing and even when he told her about it, she expected it to be one that brings about a violent death. What antidote could she take then? Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.